You say you were raised on Gilbert and Sullivan's operas. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about that. Gilbert and Sullivan operettas are not as well known today as I think they used to be. Uh, people will say that they've heard of the Mikado, they've heard of Pirates of Penzance, uh, but they've never really listened to the music. But this was a great love of my mother's, and consequently we had it on uh, pretty constantly throughout the week, virtually all of the Gilbert and Sullivan operettas. And so I learned to love that music and uh, memorized uh, most of the words and to this day uh, still listen to it. Your Friday favorite today is Chopin's Piano Concerto Number no. 2. Tell me why you like that one. I like this one because it's, it's where I really learned to love and appreciate piano music. Before that, I didn't like it at all. Uh, not a bit. I loathed piano music, and that might sound odd from coming from someone who otherwise loves classical music and music of all kinds. But I had a friend who uh, taught me how to listen to a type of music that I really didn't understand. Uh, <laughs> she's a concert pianist, which I didn't know when I admitted that I didn't like piano music. And <laughs> so she uh, she patiently said, "What." Well, you need to learn what you're listening to, and you need to learn what it is about the music that does something for those of us who love to play it and love to listen to it. And she suggested that I begin with Chopin. So I downloaded 100 of Chopin's uh, greatest hits from Amazon, and I asked her which was her favorite, and she mentioned the piano concerto number two, and more specifically, the second movement. And I asked why, and she said it was because whenever she was feeling down, feeling melancholy, she would play this particular movement, and it would evoke such feeling within her that it would change her mood. It wasn't just the notes, it was the feeling. And that's what I needed to learn, not just listening and appreciating the technique or piano for its own sake, but for the type of emotions that it can evoke. And that's what I learned from listening to this particular concerto. And I've chosen it in, in, as much in thanks to her as, as anything else. I'm Bob Liggett from Holiday, Utah, and my Friday favorite is Chopin's Piano Concerto Number no. 2.